Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry. So we're doing chemistry and of course today we're going to talk about how salts are what formed or how salts are prepared. All right, how salts salts are formed. All right, this is the last episode on the discussion of acid bases and salts. We have talked about a lot about acid bases and salts. Right, so please make sure you go to the previous episode and watch all of them all through to towards this episode, and so that you can join us in the next topic where we'll talk about a uh, periodic table. All right, there's a lot to learn, so please uh, just join us quickly. Now, don't also forget that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the old three school Jam CBT practice app, it's available for phones, for laptops, right, for PCs. And for even your tablet, all right, it is the best CBT practice app that you can have on your phone to succeed in your exam. Right? It has all the past questions for all subjects. It has all the past questions, all the recent questions. They are all on the app. Right? Even the ones who predict that they will come out in what in the exam, they are on the app. So please make sure you want to jump on that app immediately. There's a wonderful feature called the UTME challenge. It's a weekly challenge, weekly, till one week to exam. We conduct what challenge for you. You compete with what all that what students who are writing jam, all right, to win amazing prizes every week up to one week to exam. So it's a big deal. So it keeps you in that competitive mode and keeps your head sharp, all right. And that is not the only reason why we do that challenge. The reason is that every week you will see your score for your first subject, you see your score per subject, so you will know the areas where you are lagging and where you need to what improve upon. All right, so please do not forget to jump on that app right now. Go to Play Store, download the app. Go to App Store, download the app. All right, download on your PC. If you want it on your PCs, just send a message on WhatsApp on 091-121-515246. So message that number on WhatsApp, and then you will be, just ask for the word for the laptop link or for what for the uh, desktop computer link or for tab link any just ask for the link and you'll be given through what this whatsapp what platform activation of the app anyway is not free the activation is three thousand naira as at the time of shooting this video it may increase in what in future years so please make sure you jump on the opportunity and pass your jam at once all right now let's see how salts are formed now the method by which a salt is what is prepared will depend on the salt solubility in water and what an instability to it two things right the method by which is such prepared we will depend upon two things one is what its solubility solubility in water and the second one is its stability to heat how soluble is the salt in water how stable is the salt to what to heat all right these are the two what uh uh um uh two major important things that what that will depend upon how what is salt is what is prepared now now after um uh, having known this let's look at soluble salt how do we get uh sorry how do we prepare insoluble salt let's talk about insoluble salt first before we talk about soluble salt so let's talk about uh insoluble salts how do we prepare them how do we prepare insoluble salts so insoluble salts are prepared by the number of methods one is double decomposition double decomposition all right so double decomposition is one method we can use to prepare what insoluble salt all right generally double decomposition represented by this is how it's represented soluble salt plus soluble salt to give us insoluble salt plus soluble salt all right so in double decomposition what this means is that what we are what reacting two soluble salt together we are bringing two, bringing two soluble salts together and then we are getting one insoluble salt and what a soluble salt all right so this will be the product this will be the reactant so we are reacting two soluble salt together to get an insoluble salt and a soluble salt let's see an example right the example is what silver nitrate agno3 being reacted with another so this is soluble salt being reacted with another soluble salt like nacl all right so what it gives us is what is agcl plus what now plus nano3 all right so as you can see this salt here this silver nitrate here is a soluble salt 
is soluble. This sodium chloride is what is soluble. All right, then we are getting what this one is insoluble. HCl is what is so so insoluble, insoluble salt. While this one is what is a soluble salt. All right, so this is one way we can what we can use to what to prepare what an insoluble salt. All right, we bring two. Uh, yeah, through the double decomposition, we'll bring two soluble salts together to get an insoluble salt and a soluble salt. All right. So another method is what combination combination of constituent elements. All right. Please, if you have not liked this video, that thing you are doing is very wrong. Just click on that like button like this. That that button that looks like this. Just click on it once. All right. And of course. It will make us what to be easily seen by other students that are preparing for the same exam as you. Subscription to this channel is free. Just click on that red subscribe button just below the video. That red subscribe button, just click on it once. If you see showing red, it means you have not subscribed. If you're showing ash, it means you have subscribed before. So just click on it once and then you are subscribed. What it helps you do is that once you release a new video, you get a notification on your phone that we have just well, published a new video and you'll be able to work to watch and learn. Don't forget to also share this video to your friends and loved ones so that they can also work learn. All right, so we're still on looking onto the, uh, the topic of what insoluble salts, how they are formed, double decomposition. We have seen bringing two soluble salts together to give what an insoluble salt and a soluble salt. I'm giving an example to show that. And then now, Another one is what combination of constituent elements. This one is usually for binary elements. For binary elements. Oh, sorry, for binary compounds, rather. That is compounds that have what? Two elements. Two that have only two elements. Compounds that have only two elements. All right. So, for example, you can combine what? Two uh, elements together, like iron plus sulfur. To give you what iron was sulfide. They are usually what these ones are usually sulfides or chlorides. Alright, so they are usually for binary what compounds. Compounds that contain what two elements. Alright, they are usually what sulfides or chlorides. So this is iron reacting with what with sulfur to give us what iron was sulfide. All right, so this is one way to what to produce what an insoluble what. So this is an insoluble salt. Iron sulfide is an insoluble salt. All right, so that is uh, these are two ways you can use what to produce insoluble salt. And then let's look at soluble salts. If you are clear with that, then look at soluble salts. Soluble salt can be prepared by a number of ways. Also, one way is the one. This one way we have talked about it before. In fact, this is special video there's a special class there's a special episode dedicated to what to this one method that we'll talk about which is what neutralization so let's see for soluble salts now right they are prepared by one neutralization all right neutralization is the reaction between an acid reaction between an acid and an alkali to form salt and water only. All right, since there's already a full video dedicated to it, I'm not going to talk about it too much here. All right, so you bring an acid and what and an alkali together to give you what salt and water, and then you know that what you're getting what is soluble salt. Now, let's see an uh, example. I see HCl reacting with NaOH. To give us a soluble salt like sodium chloride NaCl plus H2O. All right, H2SO4. We also can also react, can also react with a CuO to give you CuSO4, right? Then plus what? Plus H2O. All right, so this is one way we can work use the word to produce what insoluble to produce what soluble or salt. So you can see this is soluble, this one is soluble. All right, so these are what. This, this is a method. Now, another method can use to what to produce what soluble salt is none other than reaction between an acid and a triosocarbonate form. Now, in this case, what do we do? What we do is that we carry what is soluble C, soluble triosocarbonate. Carbonate four. 
Look at it. So look at it. And titrate it. Titrate it against the acid. So you can know how to work, do titration in the laboratory, right? I'm sure all of you watching this video now have done that at a point in your secondary school. So what you simply do, we take what the soluble trust company for and titrate it against the acid. Now, after doing that, we now carry an insoluble trisocarbonate for now. Another insoluble triosocarbonate for. We carry what excess of it and add it what to the acid and add it to the what to the acid. So we carry an insoluble trisocarbonate for and add it in excess to the acid until the acid no longer what dissolves. So at that point, what we do is that to obtain the soluble salt, we filter off the excess trisocarbonate for. And then we will obtain what our soluble salt. So simple as A, B, C. So what we do first, titrate what the soluble trisocarbonate for against the acid, add excess insoluble trisocarbonate for until the acid no longer dissolves. And then we will filter out what the soluble salt. Uh, filter out the excess trisocarbonate for to obtain what the soluble salt. Simple as ABC. All right. So this is. Um, <laughs> I'm glad to say that what we are done with our topic on acid bases and salts. In the next episode, we are going into another topic, which is what a periodic table. All right. I would like you to join me in that class and I would love to see you in that class. So please do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to uh, subscribe to this channel and do not forget to share this video to your friends, your loved ones and your classmates who are preparing for jump exam. And as you do so, I'll see you in the next class. My name is Ola Bitangot. See you.